Welcome everybody, Chris Pettit here with First 15 Live. Glad to have you on board. We're about to get started, we dive right in. We're talking about the next generation and, and you know, maybe you, you have some complaints or some concerns with them, but there's something you can do to help so you can be a part of the solution. Um, here's what we ask, if you'll, if you'll just uh, comment real quick and say good morning, let us know you're watching, whether you're watching live or later. That way, we, this is really about having a communication with you. And so we want to connect um, here at First 15 Live. We're all about helping every believer spend at least 15 minutes with God every day. We believe you can do it. It's important. It's the most important part of your day is to give God uh, a little bit of time. And, and it doesn't have to be a lot of time. It could be a little bit of time. So uh, a couple ways to join us. Con uh, if you Also, if you'll share, share this video. Let people on your feed know um, so they can, they can be a part of uh, engaging in the Word of God today. We follow along the one-year Bible reading plan. If you want um, a link to that, just ask for it. And if you um, want a link to get notified every time we go live, just comment with notify and we'll get it to you. Also, um, you can check us out on Instagram at first15live, uh, or you can just ask for the link for that as well, and we'll send it to you. So, All right, let's dive right in. I'm posting now the scripture and a, a worship video if you want to spend some time in worship afterwards with uh, a song from our church, uh, Church of the Highlands. So um, I think you really enjoyed that. And so, um, spend some time with the Lord this morning. If you're ready, give me a thumbs up and we will dive right in. Here's the, the subject. Again, we're talking about the next generation. Um, and, and we have a lot of complaints often about them and, um, not maybe as much doing about it. Not, not so much helping them, not so much, um, solutions, right? So, uh, let's talk about how we can have some solutions. So here's Psalm 145.4. The Bible gives us gives us um, solutions for all kinds of problems. And so here's what it says. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. So there's there's three things that are going on right now in this verse. And you may not see all three of them. So here's what I want to challenge you. If we're going to make an impact in the next generation, first of all, the first thing is we have to be willing to talk about what God has done in our lives. We have to be sharing the truth of who God is and the impact that he's made in our lives. We have to be willing to share our testimony. We have to be able to to, to be that and wear that and 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 not just in a praise the Lord kind of way. No, in a, a really, look, this is what I went through. I struggled. I had a tough time. Sometimes the next generation looks at our generation and thinks that we have blinders on because we, they, they, they think, um, and, and for you, I may be the next generation, but often it's easy to look at the generation ahead of us and think, man, they, they just, they don't get it. They don't, they're pretending like they never had any issues, but we know them. So we know there's issues. So, so the truth is you want to tell us, um, tell the truth, whatever the next generation is about what you've been through, about your struggles and about how God has been with you. Um, for that to happen, here's a big one. You have to let God do some stuff in your life, right? You have to have some mighty acts. Uh, I, it's not going to be compelling to say, well, I'll tell you what, I go to church. I know that's the truth. I go to church. And? Well, I mean, I go, I go, I go to church. That's, that's, that's true. I, I go, I go to church. No, no, no. You better be able to tell about some amazing things God has done in your relationship with him. And if it's been a while since he's done something amazing, maybe you should spend some time in prayer saying, God, what's the next amazing thing you want to do in my life? Maybe it's time for you to step out in faith. Maybe it's time for you to move forward and not stay stuck in the same spot. Because if your relationship with God is stuck, it's going to be hard to convince somebody else to jump on that journey with you. Am I telling the truth? Come on, somebody. The um, and then and then lastly, you have to be in a position in somebody's life that they're going to care about what you're saying. Meaning, you have to have influence, which means you have to put in the hard work of caring about that person, loving that individual, being a friend, being there for them, and then they'll be able to listen to what you have to say. Does that make sense? I hope you, uh, I hope you're feeling that. I hope you're hearing that. That's my challenge to you today. It's not about just barking out to the next generation where they're going wrong. 
It's better to tell them where you went wrong and how God helped you. It's better to tell them the, the mighty things that God has done in your life. But you have to show them. If you're going to show them the mountaintops, you got to show them how he brought you out of the mire. Clay, come on, somebody. Uh, you got to show them the mire if, if, if you're going to tell them how he pulled you out of it. And so you got to be honest with them. And you need to do the hard work of building credibility on the front end by loving them. And But it all comes down to, has God done something amazing in your life? And if it's been a while, maybe it's time for you to return to some of the basics yourself. Amen? Let me pray for you. Father, pray for everybody watching this, God, that you would help us. Lord, they're all world changers. Uh, and, and I pray that you would help them and help me and help all of us to, Lord, to, to have these mighty acts working in our lives and to be willing to share them, God, and to be building relationships with the next generation and credibility. And I pray as we do that you would impact people in the next generation in a mighty, mighty way. See all your comments. I'll go back and read them in just a minute. I thank you for watching. Lord, bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. You're a world changer. Go change the world today. See you tomorrow. Bye.